What's up y'all, Toya here, and I am back with another video for y'all. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys either like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, y'all, so today we are going to talk about the Jitsu app. Now, if you have no idea what the Jitsu app is, I highly suggest that you check out these two videos first. I have my what is Jitsu video and my pros and cons about Jitsu. So those two videos should get you up to speed so you can understand what is Jitsu so you aren't confused about some of the terminology that I might be using in this video. So yeah, make sure you check those out if you have not already. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get into today's topic now I honestly kind of have like a love-hate relationship with Jitsu the centralized warehouse makes things so much more difficult for me because that warehouse is over 20 miles away from my home and I usually like to get deliveries that are in a specific area so having to go 20 miles one way and then back that's literally 40 plus miles just with commuting. That doesn't even include the miles that I'm gonna be driving with the actual deliveries going stop to stop. So it's kind of hard to justify taking a route with the Jitsu app. And on top of that, it's hard for me to get routes sometimes. Literally the only time I see routes that are available is on Mondays. And for my market, Mondays are the busiest day. Any other day, I don't see any routes. And honestly, I'm still surprised that my very first route that I did on Jitsu, I managed to snag a ticket on Wednesday and I was able to select my route. But ever since then, I don't see nothing on any other days except for Monday. And ironically, I had a comment, somebody was asking, do people use those clickers on Jitsu because they're also having issues getting the routes as well. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case because obviously we've seen what happens on Amazon Flex. The highest offers, they're always first to go within like a half a second. But luckily, Jitsu has released an update that may be able to help. And let me go ahead and read through this update for you. So the title of this email reads, exciting updates, exclusive early booking opportunities tailored for you. Thank you for being a value delivery partner for Jitsu. Now is the perfect time to be driving with the Jitsu delivery team. With the rise of on-demand deliveries and increased control for drivers, Jitsu will be launching tailored opportunities just for you. Receive push notifications for early booking sessions customized for you. You can click on the booking session and book the tickets available. Tailored booking sessions with earlier access are based on your ranked delivery zone preferences, delivery history, and home address. You'll only be able to access a limited number of zones in the early session, but you'll be able to choose from all available zones during the booking session at its regular time. Please be sure to keep your home address and delivery preferences up to date to make the most of these new features and ensure you receive the best possible opportunities and let you know how you can update that and blah, 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 blah. So yeah. Let's talk about it. Now, when I first read this email, I automatically thought about Amazon Flex. You have your preferred blocks and you have the reserved blocks based off of your status, right? Now, I don't do enough Amazon Flex to keep my ratings up, so I haven't received any preferred blocks or reserved blocks for me or anything like that lately. But when I was getting those blocks sent to me, they were not the best at all. It would be a warehouse that I never been to at all. So I usually go to the warehouse that's out south. They would send me the warehouses that's up north or super out west. And the times they were giving me, I never done a block at that time at all. They were giving me 3 a.m., 4 a.m. blocks. I think the earliest I've done was like 6 a.m. So I don't know where they came up with some of these blocks to give me as my preferred or my reserve blocks. And on top of that, most of these blocks were base pay. And depending on what route you ended up getting, that may or may not have been worth it at the end of the day. So sure, you were guaranteed to get a block and this is how much you were gonna get paid, but like I said, was it gonna be worth it in the end? And I have a strong feeling that it's gonna be very, very similar in this case with Jitsu. So like I mentioned earlier, it is hard to get tickets booked. I am only able to book tickets for Monday, it seems. And this is probably honestly why I have not done as many Jitsu routes other than the fact that the warehouse is super far, but I want to be able to pick my route. So 
I'm only seeing Mondays. And for my warehouse on Mondays, they don't let us choose our routes. So sometimes I just don't want to gamble. Like I know what zone I'm going to be in based off the ticket that I choose, but I want to be able to get something with some decent pay, not 40, 50 bucks. I want to get a route like I did the first time. I got a route that was paying like 80 something bucks. So yeah, it kind of makes it a bit more worth it for me. So it is a possibility that with these early bookings, you will have an opportunity to get tickets on days that you may not have been able to get in the past. And if that's the case, that would definitely be beneficial to a lot of drivers. But I do have some questions. Assuming that this is going to be based off of your standings on the Jitsu platform, there really isn't too much information in regards to your ratings or your standings on this app. I have only completed three deliveries so far on this app. And when I go to the section for your ratings, there's absolutely nothing there. Everything is unavailable. I have no stars, nothing. And when I go to the FAQs to get some additional information, there is nothing. So we don't know if you have to maintain a certain rating in order to be eligible or is everyone just automatically eligible to get early bookings? I don't know. Like I said, there's not really too much information out there. Maybe more information will come out later on down the line. Like I said, this just came out a few days ago, late last week. So, you know, it's still pretty early and I haven't seen any additional emails nor have I seen any notifications about early bookings yet. So maybe you guys have by the time you see this video, but again, only time will tell. We're just gonna have to see how things play out. Now, other than the ratings, I do have some concerns as well. On my second route that I did on the Jitsu app, I had ran into a lady at the warehouse and she was just kind of going on a rant about the app and she was just pretty much saying that she's probably not gonna come back to the app. This is probably gonna be her last route. And she definitely made some valid points. Now there is one issue that I immediately noticed, I actually noticed this before she had mentioned it. And this was the fact that the zone that they give you for that ticket, it actually can change. Let's just say you put a point in the middle of that zone. Let's just say it was like a 20 mile radius originally. You booked that ticket the day before and it was like I said, a 20 mile radius within this particular area, right? And come the morning of when you're about to go and drive to the warehouse, maybe you're like, oh, let me go and double check something. Let me check the zone to see where I'm gonna be. You notice that that zone has gotten larger. So if you were to take that same pin and put it in the middle, it's about a 30 mile radius now. So your route can be anywhere within that area and that may or may not be something that you're prepared to do. Now this main thing she mentioned to me, I took notice of this immediately. And I noticed this on my last route that I did a couple of weeks ago. And this was the fact that the pay can actually change. So I ended up booking a ticket, it was like 70 to 90 bucks, right? This is the week that I had took off work. I was on vacation, if you wanna say, but I was still doing delivery gigs, right? So I picked up this ticket, like I said, 70 to 90 bucks. I picked it up the night before and I go ahead to the warehouse. I'm going in waiting and everything. And then I notice the ticket, now it says between 40 something and 90. I wish I would've took screenshots. Next time I do a route, I will definitely take screenshots. But I was like, why did, okay, whatever. So I got my route and the route ended up paying, I think it was like 59 bucks, might as well say 60. But still less than what I was expecting. I was expecting to get paid between 70 to $90. So I'm like, okay, that's no bueno, nah. No, <laughs> you can't be playing with people money like that. So not only is the ticket that you're booking, the zone is expanding, but your pay is potentially decreasing. So with that being said, if that's happening with regular tickets, is that also gonna be the case with the early booking tickets? If I'm booking a ticket expecting to deliver in this particular area and I'm gonna get paid this much, by the time I get to the warehouse and it's completely different, that's gonna turn me off from that app. A lot of drivers already got trust issues with a lot of apps already. I would much rather you tell me up front that it's gonna be between 40 and 90 then tell me 70, 90, and then you change it to 40, 90. No, tell me what to expect up front. I get things change and all of that, but now you're finessing. You're literally just up here trying to finesse drivers because imagine somebody gets that route and they look at it and they're like, I don't want that pay. I was told that I was gonna get this. And they said, you know what? It's not worth it. I'm gonna drop the route. They will be penalized for dropping that route. 
And should you fault the driver for that? No, because that's not what they expected in the first place. If you told me that I'm gonna get paid 70 to 90 bucks and I pull up and you're only paying me 40, I don't want it. I don't want it no more. That's not what we agreed on. If they're gonna go ahead and do that with these early bookings, nah. I know that it's hard to get tickets already, but to entice people like, oh, here you go, this is how much you might get paid, and then they pull up and it's different. Nah, that trust, you, you messing up y'all relationship with your drivers, man. You can't be doing that jitsu. You gotta, gotta get it together, jitsu. You gotta fix that jitsu, because that's, that's not cool. That is not cool at all. But like I said earlier, only time will tell. We're just gonna have to wait and see how things play out. But Jitsu, you definitely got a lot of cleaning up to do. You got a lot of cleaning up to do because y'all making it really, really hard for people to be on board with your app. I don't usually go and reply to comments from like my older videos from a few weeks or a few months ago, but I'm seeing a lot of comments from people talking about Jitsu. They're saying it's a terrible app, you know, support is terrible, this is terrible, this is not worth it, this and that. You know, I've always said that there is no perfect app, but when your cons are starting to outweigh the pros, you start turning a lot of people off from your app and nobody really wants to deal with all of that BS. So like I always said, you know, go where the money is and go where it makes sense to you i'm not saying go with jitsu jitsu is that app you know it's better than amazon flex because amazon flex they got their own issues too and i haven't even tried vho because those warehouses are even further out than the jitsu warehouse so i don't know if i'm gonna do vho either <laughs> but like i said you just kind of gotta weigh everything out and right now it's not really looking too good for jitsu at least for me but again only time will tell we'll just have to see how things play out and go from there but yeah guys that's pretty much it that's pretty much all i got for this video so i would love to know your thoughts on this update with the jitsu app now i know this just came out a few days ago i don't know if anyone has had the opportunity to see what these early bookings look like if you have i would love to know how has it been for you but for everyone else you know i know we're probably kind of trying to see how it's going to look and see how it's going to play out so but i would definitely love to know your thoughts as far as what do you think about early bookings do you think it'll be beneficial do you think it's pretty much just going to be the same nothing's going to change just let me know in the comments now before I go, I have to remind you guys to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video. But I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. And as always, stay safe out there and keep grinding.